Now, gonioscopes are used to see the angle because we get this phenomena of total internal reflection. Rays coming from the angle cannot find its weight outside because the cornea prevents it from doing this. When we put a contact lens, this is the gonioscope, we cancel the cornea and then light can find its way to the examiner. So this is the idea of using a contact lens. On doing gonioscopy, we need to explain this to the patient what we are going to do, and then we need to use a gentle maneuvers when we are rotating the gonioscope, because if we do it roughly, it will be quite painful. We have different gonioscopes. We got the Goldman gonio lens. We have the three mirror, the one we are accustomed to use. It gets a diameter 18 millimeters, and there is another Goldman one mirror it has a diameter of 15 millimeters. The Goldman get a convex surface, a concave surface, so we need to fill it with, with visco material to avoid having air under the lens. The gonio give us a reversed image. If you put the mirror down at the six o'clock here, you are seeing things up at the 12 o'clock. But it's not like the indirect ophthalmoscope lens where everything is reversed up is down and right is left, no. Here only we put the lens down to see up, but things are not reversed. This is the location of 11 o'clock, it's, it's here on this side. Oh, this is the one o'clock. The 11 o'clock is on this side. It's not reversed like the indirect ophthalmoscope. Another lens which is quite important is the Pusner lens or the Zeiss lens. This is the way to apply the lens. You just put the local anesthesia, level the position of the eye. Then the lens is applied directly. We don't need to apply any visco underneath this lens. It's better to have your elbow supported And this is the small video of the Pusner lens. It's a four mirror lens. You don't need any visco, you just apply it directly. You need a cooperative patient because the patient is free to move his eyes. If any air under, comes under this lens, you just rotate the lens a little bit, then the air will be out. This is the difference between the size of the three mirror and the Pusner. It's much smaller. So the Pusner lens get a diameter of eight millimeters only. Again, the curvature of this lens is 7.8 millimeter like the curvature of the cornea, so we don't need any visco to apply. The advantage that it can do the examination from one eye to the second eye, so this is quite simple. You don't need to use any missile which cause blurring of vision. Then you get this advantage of comparing the angle of one eye to that of the other eye. Getting the same curvature of the cornea, no visco is needed. The tear film is enough to get any out, air out. Then it has an important rule, which is indentation in gonioscopy. If you put this lens and start to push the lens in a little bit, the cornea will be indented. Aqueous will push everything behind. So the iris will be pushed back. This is important to differentiate between a narrow angle because of actual synechia and a narrow angle be because of apposition. No synechia between iris and lens. So the only way to differentiate that is to do indentation gonioscopy. This is an angle seen with the three mirror or one mirror, and it looks that it is closed but in doing the Pusner and the indentation, it is opened. So 
this is not an actual sainike, it is just a position. So the advantage of the Posner lens, it's easy to switch between the eyes. No methyl is used, so there is no blurring of vision. On the other hand, the three mirror or the one mirror Goldman, you need to use methyl, which causes some blurring of vision, and it has a large diameter, which is an irritant for the patient. We usually do the examination in the patient looking in the primary position, but in certain situations, we ask the patient to look toward one of the mirrors to see more details. So, the three mirror is the least lens to be used. We don't like to use it because it's a large diameter. It's more irritant for the patient. Maybe it got one advantage that you can use it to press on the epsteral vessels, then you get congestion, then you get congestion and more visualization of the canal of Schlem. But apart of that, it's better all the time to use the Busner lens or the one mirror if you need a, uh, another mirror to use.